Hi, this is Mike. I'm reading Robert Halter's translation of Exodus chapter 32. And the people saw that Moses lagged in coming down from the mountain. And the people assembled against Aaron and said to him, Rise up, make us gods that will go before us. For this man Moses who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. And Aaron said to them, Take off the golden rings that are on the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. And all the people took off the golden rings that were on their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he took them from their hand, and he fashioned it in a mold, and made it into a molten calf. And they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And Aaron saw, and he built an altar before it. And Aaron called out and said, Tomorrow is a festival to Yahweh. And they rose early on the next day, and they offered up burnt offerings and brought forward communion sacrifices. And the people came back from eating and drinking, and they rose up to play. And Yahweh said to Moses, Quick, go down, for your people that I brought up from Egypt has acted ruinously. They have swerved quickly from the way that I charged them. They have made them a molten calf and bowed down to it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And Yahweh said to Moses, I see this people and look, it is a stiff-necked people. And now leave me be, that my wrath may flare against them, and I will put an end to them, and I will make you a great nation. And Moses implored the presence of Yahweh, his God, and said, Why, O Yahweh, should your wrath flare against your people that you brought out from the land of Egypt with great power and with a strong hand? Why should the Egyptians say, For evil he brought them out, to kill them in the mountains, to put an end to them on the face of the earth? Turn back from your flaring wrath and relent from the evil against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by yourself and spoke to them, I will multiply your seed like the stars of the heavens, and all this land that I said I will give to your seed, and they will hold it in a state forever. And Yahweh relented from the evil that he had spoken to do to his people. And Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other they were written. And the tablets, God's doing they were, and the writing, God's writing it was, inscribed on the tablets. And Joshua heard the sound of the people as it shouted, and he said to Moses, A sound of war in the camp. And he said, Not the sound of crying out in triumph, and not to the sound of crying out in defeat. A sound of crying out, I hear. And it happened when he drew near the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' wrath flared, and he flung the tablets from his hand and smashed them at the bottom of the mountain. And he took the calf that they had made and burned it in the fire and ground it fine and scattered it over the water and made the Israelites drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought upon it great offense? And Aaron said, Let not my Lord's wrath flare. You yourself know that this people is in an evil way. And they said to me, Make us gods that will go before us. For this man Moses who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. And I said to them, Whoever has gold, take it off. And they gave it to me. And I flung it into the fire, and out came this calf. And Moses saw the people, that it was let loose, for Aaron had let them loose as a shameful thing to their adversaries. And Moses stood at the gate of the camp and said, Whoever is for Yahweh, to me. And the Levites gathered round him. And he said to them, Thus said Yahweh, God of Israel, Put every man his sword on his thigh, and cross over and back from gate to gate in the camp, and each man kill his brother, 
and each man his fellow, and each man his kin. And the Levites did according to the word of Moses. And about 3,000 men of the people fell on that day. And Moses said, Dedicate yourselves today to Yahweh, for each man is against his son and against his brother, and so blessing may be given to you today. And it happened on the next day that Moses said to the people, You, you have committed a great offense, and now I shall go back up to Yahweh. Perhaps I may atone for your offense. And Moses went back to Yahweh and said, I beg you, this people has committed a great offense. They have made themselves gods of gold. And now, if you would bear their offense, and if not, wipe me out, pray, from your book, which you have written. And Yahweh said to Moses, he who has offended against me, I shall wipe him out from my book. And now, lead this people to where I have spoken to you. Look, my messenger shall go before you, and on the day I make a reckoning, I will make a reckoning with them for their offense. And Yahweh scourged the people for having made the calf that Aaron made. 